you guys? It's your girl Imani here. I'm back for another video. So for today's video, I am trying out a brand new line for my wash day. As you guys see, I took my braids out and I was gonna use my regular mesh, but I was like, you know what? Let me give this product a try. I've only had it in my bathroom for like two months now. Like, it's about time that I give it a try. And of course, since I'm trying it out for the first time, I had to show you guys and do like a little review and how my hair takes it. So I don't know if you guys have guessed it. I mean, you should because it's probably in the title. But we are trying Texture ID today for the very first time because you know your girl lives under a rock and these are brand new things to me. So I got the entire line except for like one thing. I think I'm missing like the foaming mousse or something like that. I pretty much got, I got one, two, three, four, five things. And I think there's like six things in the line. So I have the Curl Clarifying Shampoo with Honey. And then I have the three times moisture cream conditioner. The intense moisturizing leave-in conditioner. And I think this is a spray. I don't know how I feel about the spray. We'll see. This is the deep treatment mask. And yeah, this is their deep conditioner. And then I will be finishing it off with their styling cream that looks like that there we go so yeah as you guys see i still have like the tape on the bottle so this is brand new this is the first time i'm opening it up and let's give it a try shall we we shall so trying out new products for y'all is just a lot easier sitting down so that's how we're gonna do that there's no shower scene today I know, I'm sorry. So let's undo this. I'm actually gonna start off with the um, moisture cream conditioner. I use conditioner and then shampoo because I pre-poo with conditioner first just to like soften my strands up a little bit and make it a little easier for when I'm shampooing. And in this case, I had a lot of, um, you know, like synthetic hair from the braids and I just wanna make sure that um, I soften up my hair to help kind of like comb it out before I shampoo so it doesn't get tangled up when I do the shampoo. So I'm going to do the conditioner first. I'm going to spray my hair with like a little bit of water. Just a little bit to soften it up for the conditioner. It doesn't need to be drenched. Like I don't, I don't have my hair drenched for when I pre-poo. It's a little thick. And I'm just gonna work on two sides. Focus on this side first. Mmm, that smells so good. I can smell the honey, it smells so sweet. My hair immediately feels so soft. Oh, look at all that synthetic hair that I just got out, ugh. Yeah, guys, when you take braids out of your hair, make sure that you pre-poo and like comb the hair before you shampoo because I remember one time, way back in the day, after I had braids in for the longest, I took my hair out and just immediately shampooed my hair. Let me tell y'all, that was a mistake. My hair was tangled up with synthetic hair for like a good two weeks after that. This is a long time ago though, I didn't know any better. Oh my gosh, my hair feels so soft already. I've been living under a rock as per usual. I'm gonna go in on the other side. All right, so I don't use a lot, even though that did seem like a lot, but for my hair it's not. But I don't use a lot, just enough to get my hair nice and soft. And my hair definitely feels a lot softer already. So I'm just going to let this sit. I'm not even going to put a cap on it. I just let it sit for like 10 minutes or so. And then I'll come back and comb out my hair and try to get the braiding hair out before we shampoo. So I will see you guys in like... Okay, I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes. I think it's been, it's been less than 10 minutes. I'm just being impatient. I'm going to just comb my hair out and brush it out a little bit with my detangling brush and i get a lot of you guys asking me where i got this brush from and i got it from amazon i am so sorry i don't know what it's called but the link to it is in my amazon store and that link is in the description box below so you can check that out and it's right there so it's my absolute favorite brush you guys see me use it in every video and it really does detangle my hair like effortlessly so 
Most of that, you guys, is the braiding hair. So again, make sure y'all are combing y'all hair out after y'all take these braids out because you don't want all that tangled up in your hair when it comes time to shampoo. So I think majority of the braiding hair is out now, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then um, I'll come back for the shampoo. Oh, okay, I'm like dripping wet right now. I'm gonna do this as fast as I can. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process. Ugh. I'm gonna just do half my head and the other half of my head at a time. Ooh, I had to make sure this was a shampoo. Look how it came out. It looks very creamy. It looks like, it looks like conditioner. Ooh, and it smells like honey again. You see that? Ooh, do y'all hear that? I love that. It reminds me of me, how it's like super creamy. And then when you put it on, it just like starts to lather up all crazy like. But I love that. I don't even need as much as I thought I was gonna need. Ah, we itchy. All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just do the whole head at once because it's a lot more. A little definitely goes a lot a long way, so I don't need to like try to focus on like a quarter or a half of my head at a time. My hair feels so good. It feels like it's just like really cleansing my hair right now, and it smells delicious. Like it smells like honey, but it also it just has like this really pure clean smell to it. My hair doesn't feel like it's stripped either, which I like. All right now, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna use my little, y'all know I forget what this is called, and y'all tell me, and then I forget as soon as it's time to make the video. But, ooh, I love the way this feels with my scalp. All right, I think I'm good on my whole scalp. In here, making sure I get that back good. Time to go rinse it out, and then we are going to do a deep condition. Be right back. Whew. All right, guys, we're back. And my hair, it feels, it feels like any shampoo for the most part. That's like a clarifying shampoo and a cleansing shampoo. Like it still feels a little stripped, but it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> that was my squeaky sound. Did I? Did it sound right? It doesn't have that kind of feel, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this deep treatment mask, which is their deep conditioner. It doesn't really smell like anything to me. Like it says it has sweet almond oil, wheat protein, and honey, but I honestly don't smell much of anything. Let's do that. It's thick, too. I like the way that feels with my hair. It feels all nice, makes my hair nice and soft. I'm being really heavy handed. I feel like I've already used so much of it and I'm only, I'm not even like halfway through. I don't like that I feel like I have to use so much just now on like kind of half of my head. Cause then it's like, I'm gonna use this up in like two washes. And I know I'm heavy handed, but like I have other deep conditioners that like, I feel like I don't have to use this much. Making my hair feel really soft though, so. Okay, so usually I detangle, like right after I put the deep conditioner on and then I sit under the dryer, but for this one, I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna sit under the dryer first and then detangle, so. I don't know if I'm gonna show that part on camera. You know what, I will. So I'll see you guys in a minute when I go to detangle my hair, okay? See you in a second. All right, I'm just coming from under the dryer. If you guys can hear like a ticking sound, it's my dryer, that's what happens when I turn it off. Anyway, so. All right, this is gonna sound weird. Have you guys ever walked into an Abercrombie & Fitch or like, I used to work at their sister store, Gilly Hicks, or like a Hollister, and you know, it's like this scent that they spray. That's what this smells like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out what it smells like and that's what it reminds me of, so that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, is he tangling pretty easily and my hair feels super soft. All right, it looks like my battery's about to die, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on detangling and then I'm gonna rinse this out and I'll come back to you guys when I put the leave-in in and then start on my twist with their cream, okay? See you guys in a second. This is what we are working with so far. My hair. 
like it feels so soft i love it. it feels really soft i love it i'm gonna go ahead and use the leave-in conditioner intense moisturizing leave-in conditioner and aloe vera extract and coconut oil now i like cream based leave-in conditioners i'm not the biggest fan of a spray but let's see how this works i don't know i'm not gonna count it out just because it's a spray it's just my preference like i like a leave-in that just like melts into your hair like butter and gives you a ton of slip you know and i just feel like you can't get that with a spray but maybe i'm wrong if y'all have found a spray that has done your hair really good comment it below and i'll try it i'm gonna go ahead and do twists in my hair with the cream but first i'm just splitting my hair into four sections just because it makes it a little easier for me to manage with it in different sections and i'm not gonna bore you guys with the actual twist but let me just show y'all Ugh, i can't open it the consistency okay i can't really pinpoint a smell to that either but look at that consistency Ooh, it look nice it's not super thick can y'all see that jiggle so, oh, that's like a, it reminds me of like a custard, like when you're baking, you know, no, no, okay. Anyway, so y'all know how I do my twist. It's nothing new. I'm just going to take a small little suction, put the rest of it away, comb it out with my three row comb. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the styling cream. And then twist. But like I said, you guys don't need to see this boring part, so. All right guys, I'm all done with my twist. And I gotta say that I am loving the styling cream. Like, I love the consistency of it. It was really melting into my hair like butter. I use that phrase a lot, but not on everything. Don't get it twisted now. And y'all know that I love that. It was just like melting into my hair, which I loved. And the smell is amazing. Like, I just wanna keep smelling my hair all day. It smells so good. So, so far, I absolutely love this brand. My hair feels very moisturized. It feels very hydrated and I'm loving how juicy my twists are looking. Let me just do a little spin around for y'all. Just do that a little quick, you know. Look at that. I love it. So I think I'm gonna let these twists sit in my hair for a couple days. Today is what, Tuesday night? So I'll probably let this sit in until probably like Thursday morning before I take them out. I might sit under my dryer tonight um just so that i don't fall asleep on them wet so they don't like shape all funny you know and then i'll leave them in all day because they look pretty good but so far i am really liking texture id i'm feeling it it's really just a deep conditioner that i'm having a little issues with as far as my skin is concerned but we can see how we can work around that so hey guys so somehow i lost the last bit of footage but you guys got the gist i am in love with texture id i'm really happy with it i wouldn't say that it is like my top 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 favorite but it's definitely my go-to so i am happy i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like comment below if you've tried this and how you like it and i'll see y'all for the next one bye